See how to sort an Excel list by two or three or more columns. For example, region and then reps for each region and the cost of the items that they sold. This is Deborah Dalgleish from Contextures.com. In this table, we have orders. They're sorted by invoice number and we want to sort this list to put the regions in alphabetical order and then the reps within each region. When I just have a couple of columns to sort, I usually do it on the worksheet with the quick sort buttons. I've got them up on my quick access toolbar. They're also on the data tab in the sort and filter section. With this list, I want to have regions in alphabetical order, then the reps within each region. When you're sorting this way, you're going to work in reverse order, doing the least important sorts first and working up to the most important. I want to do the reps first. I'll just select a heading cell or any cell in this column and click the A to Z button. That puts them in alphabetical order. So I'm going to do the region next. It's the most important sort. And now I'll sort it A to Z. So we now have all the east, all the west, and the reps are still in alphabetical order within the regions. This time we're going to do a three level sort. The sales reps, what items they sold, and the cost of those items. You could do this with those quick sort buttons, but once you get up to three or more levels, you might find it easier to use the sort dialog box. Select any cell in the table and go to the data tab and click sort. That opens this sort window and it's automatically picked our first column and it's going to sort on the values there, put them A to Z. I want to sort by the rep name first. So I'm going to click here, select rep. I want to sort by the values, the names, and I'd like them A to Z. The next thing I want to sort is the items. So what were they selling? I'll add a level, choose the item, and again, we want cell values and A to Z. The third thing we want is the cost. So I'll add another level, cost, again, cell values. The other options here are by cell color, font color, or conditional formatting icon. For this, because it's a number column, the options here for order have changed. Here we had A to Z, Z to A, or a custom list. With numbers, it's smallest to largest, largest to smallest, and custom list. We want these the highest priced items first, so we're going to sort by rep, then item, and cost. We click OK. So we've got Garcia, Jones, Lee, and Smith. For Garcia, binder and pen. Pens, there are two, so the 19.99 one is higher in this list, and then pen. So it sorted a three-level sort for rep, item, and cost.